Welcome back hustlers and today we're going to discuss who's going to fly first between Ehang, Joby and Archer. The race to redefine transportation is on. Three companies, Ehang, Joby and Archer are battling for the skies in a high stakes contest to bring flying taxis to life. But who will reach the skies first and what will it take to win the futuristic race? First up we have Ehang, a Chinese company pushing boundaries with its fully autonomous passenger drones. No pilots, no problem. Ehang envisions a future where artificial intelligence takes control offering safe reliable flights without human intervention. Next up we have Joby Aviation, a US based pioneer with over a decade of experience. Joby's aircraft combines speed, range and efficiency targeting both urban and regional markets. And finally there's Archer Aviation, the Californian newcomer focused on short haul urban routes with a sleek design and strategic airline partnerships, Archer aims to integrate seamlessly into the existing transit networks. Each of these companies is tackling urban air mobility with unique innovations. Let's break down the tech. Ehang's EH216 is all about simplicity, an autonomous two-seater drone powered by electric motors and equipped with multiple propellers. No pilot means a lighter, more spacious design, but it also raises questions about trust and safety. Joby Aviation takes a hybrid approach, blending helicopter-like vertical lift with an airplane-style forward flight. Its six tilt-in propellers enable efficient travel at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour and a range of 150 miles, making it the long-distance leader. Archer's maker focuses on urban practicality with a range of six miles. It's built for short frequent trips combining fixed wings and tilt rotors for efficiency and maneuverability. While the technology is impressive, navigating the regulatory skies is an entirely different challenge. Ehang has made strides in China where regulators have green lit operations but expanding globally will require overcoming strict aviation laws, especially in regions like US and Europe. Joby, on the other hand, is working closely with the FAA to certify piloted flights. Starting with human pilots could make regulators and passengers feel more comfortable easing their entry into commercial operations by 2025, very similar to aircrafts at the moment. Archer benefits from partnerships with United Airlines, giving it a direct path to integrate into existing aviation networks. This connection could help fast track its approval process. Building the future of flights isn't cheap and these companies are backed by serious funding. Ehang is publicly traded with significant backing from Chinese investors and government support. Its focus on cost-effective manufacturing help it scale quickly. Joby has raised over 1.6 billion including a major investment from Toyota. The automaker isn't just funding Joby, they're bringing decades of manufacturing experience to the table. Archer went through a SPAC merger and secured a deal from United Airlines, 200 aircraft worth over 1 billion dollars. This partnership provides both funding and a built-in customer base. Even with funding, regulatory approval, public trust will make or break the success of these flying taxis. Ehang has focused on public demonstrations showcasing its tech in real world scenarios to build confidence. But will passengers trust an aircraft with no pilot on board? Joby emphasizes safety and quiet operations, addressing key concerns for urban communities. Starting with piloted flights could also help passengers ease into the new mode of travel. It's not too dissimilar to what we already have. Archer's alignment with trusted airlines like United Airlines helps build credibility, position positioning its EV tolls as an extension of the current air travel experience. So now you're probably all wondering, when can we expect to see these flying taxis in action? Ehang has already conducted limited operations in China, focusing on sightseeing and emergency services, but achieving widespread adoption will take time, especially outside of the home market. Joby plans to launch its piloted air taxis by 2025, with the FAA certification process well underway. Its combination of long range and quiet operations could make it first to scale. Archer is also eyeing for 2025 for its first commercial flights, aiming to dominate urban markets with its shorter range, high frequency approach. So now that we've discussed all of these points, which company will be the first to fly? Each company has its own strengths. Ehang's bold autonomy makes it a trailblazer, but it faces regulatory challenges. Joby's methodical approach positions itself as a front runner for scalable operations and Archer's strategic partnership gives it a strong foothold in urban markets. Currently, it's looking like Joby are ahead. So who do you guys think will win the race? The answer may depend on where you live and how comfortable you are with the future of flight. But one thing is for certain, the skies are about to be a lot busier. But the race for the skies doesn't stop here. If you're fascinated by how these companies are shaping the future of urban air mobility, you want to check out our comparison on Blade, Joby and Archer. So if you're interested in this video make sure you give it a watch here make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you next time